Hey everybody. Well, today's the day I start my new camp. I'm heading down there right now. To, took a day off work. It's a beautiful morning. It's uh, really cold. I think it's nine degrees and the wind chills like five below. But that's okay. It just makes it all that more enjoyable. Just put the right clothes on. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm driving down there right now. It's about a 35, 40 minute drive from where I live. <clears throat> the other camp I had was a lot closer, but it just didn't work out. It was in a bottom land and it was wet, and muddy, and soft all the time, and it was really hard to get back there. This one is on top of a hill, a big one. Um, I have a cousin that has a bunch of property down here, and he's given me use of pretty much all of it if I want. So I picked me out a spot been looking for a couple three weeks found me a spot and uh, that's where I'm headed this morning so this will start a new camp and a new adventure and a lot of new exciting things for the year so just thought I'd let you know what was going on I'll uh, touch bases here in a little bit when I get there and kind of show you where I go to to get in there so it's kind of a remote place so until then we'll see you in a bit okay I just turned on the County roads off the highway. Just thought I'd give you a shot of what it looks like driving down through here in the country. It's pretty much just a one-lane road through the hills. It's really pretty down here. We got a quick snow shower this morning before the clouds cleared out, so it really makes it pretty down here. I think it's about 7 a.m. or something like that. So I was wanting to be here a little earlier as the sun came up. But I was running a little slow, didn't make it. This road's not too bad unless you meet somebody and it gets a little, a little tight. But, uh, just want to give everybody an idea of what it's like down here. It's real pretty country, especially in the winter. You get up on the hills, you can see forever. So, just thought I'd give you a shot at what it's like. I'll uh, give you another quick one when I'm almost there. Okay, we're getting closer to the end of my drive here. It's uh, really narrow now. It's more like a lane. The county road ends up here in about a mile. I think it's just over three miles from the time you turn off the highway till I get where I'm going. But uh, now that we're back here on the gravel part of the county road, just thought I'd give you another shot. There's some abandoned cabins and stuff down here too. People don't use anymore. I would really call them abandoned. People just don't come down and use them anymore. They're like get weekend getaways or vacation places, but there's a real pretty creek, big creek that runs along this road, all the way along it, all the way down to where I stop. I mean, it's just, and the water in it up there where I'm going flows pretty heavy all the time, so. Alrighty then, just thought I'd give you a shot. I'll uh, get back with you when, when I get up top. Later. Okay, I've parked my truck. I've started my walk up to the the camp or the campsite. Just wanted to stop and whew, you tell I'm a little out of breath. It's all uphill to the camp. Give you a shot of the sunrise this morning. Really pretty. Had a little snow last night so we can really see around. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a bottom way down in there. That's the trail right there that I come up I'm about oh, a little over a quarter mile up right now I got another quarter to a half mile to go and <laughs> it's all uphill but I just wanted to stop and show you the sunrise on the trees I get up a little higher well wait a minute I'm close enough I got a spot right here I can show you the valley from here there's the sun coming through the top of the trees almost up here that's an old shed from I don't know, about 30, 40 years ago. Got a cousin that owns the land's got some stuff in their store, but not a whole lot there. It used to be a greenhouse. But uh, anyway, here's a power line cut out. Sorry if I'm out of breath. Power line cut out where you can see down into the valley. I'll try to zoom that a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I can't see the creek yet. Let me go up a little further. Or down there more. 
so I can show you the road I came in on and the creek. There's my little buddy, that shadow. He goes everywhere I go down here. Okay, sorry about the shakiness. I'm using my phone right now. Okay, right there is the creek that runs down through the property, that dark line right here. And then right next to it's the road I came in on. And that valley is just beautiful in the winter. This filming doesn't do it justice. If you could see it with your naked eye, you'd understand why I like it so much. So just wanted to show you a few things of my walk in. I'll be back with you in a little bit. Okay, made it to the top. Finally, I'm a little out of breath. I had to take my hat off, cool off a little bit. I know it's pretty cold out, but I get hot real easy. I've still got another layer I can put on. If I stop for lunch and get get too chilly, I've got my burrito wool pullover I can still put on. But I'm plenty warm right now. Just thought I'd uh, show you what it looks like now. It's just woods, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So let me get you okay. turned around here. Uh, here's my spot. There's my pack hanging in a small tree. I'll be putting a lean-to with raised beds somewhere either between that tree and that tree or that tree and I'll put up a post over here somewhere so right there will be one and then the other one I'll probably leave a gap right there to stack firewood and put a wall in there but there's a tree right there behind my pack I'll probably go between that one and this one for my other lean-to and then I'll have my fire put out here and I'll cut these little small saplings down and get them out of the way. But uh, Shadow, come here. I'll show you my little companion that follows me around while I'm up here. There he is. Hi, buddy. Say hi there, buddy. See, my name's Shadow. See, I'm a good puppy. See, I like to play though. Whoa, stay down. Good boy. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna get, get me a cup of coffee and get started and I'll be back with you in a little while. Well, I decided to have me a, a cup of coffee in my, my wooden kooksa here. Kooksa, kooska, I think it's kooksa, I can't remember. But anyway, I thought I'd have me a little coffee before I get started. This will probably end up being part one of a small series or maybe a big series, depends on how slow I am. Uh, I found out that half to three quarter mile walk all uphill took a lot out of me so unless I can get the weather to cooperate where I can maybe take bring the truck up to the halfway point I'm gonna be a little slow for a while but it's a beautiful morning the sun's coming up right behind the camera there as you can see it's in my face but it is absolutely gorgeous here and it's so quiet the only thing you can hear is a jet coming over I love it but just a little update I uh, realized a few things once I started unpacking my bag that I had forgotten I didn't uh, uh, something important I realized uh, this could be a really bad day I forgot my pooper paper I think maybe if I dig hard enough I can find a bandana or two in my bag but they may come in handy. I did bring my shovel. So even if I have to use my bright orange bandana, she can get buried. Nobody will ever know the difference except all you guys. Or it could be a good day. May not need it. But uh, at any rate, it's in the glove box of my truck. So, oh well. Actually, for as cold as it is, it feels pretty warm, especially now that that sun's coming in. <sighs> Let me see. What else? Um... I think what I'll start on first is, uh, I think I'll do my raised beds first. Then I'll know how far back I need to go with my lean to. So I'll start cutting some wood and dragging it in for that. I'll just have to post you every once in a while. I don't have the equipment to keep two or three cameras going at different angles. So I'll just work a little bit and, and then film and show you what I've got done. But like I said, this will probably end up being a series. I can, there's no way I can get all this on one. I haven't even cleared any leaves out or anything yet, or saplings, so got a lot to do. But anyway, just wanted to sit and have some coffee, and while I was just sitting here doing nothing, thought I'd give you a little update. 
fill you in on my little emergency, so. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't become an emergency, but time will tell. I'll check in with you later. Okay. Little progress on my bed here and a little update. I uh, I was gonna just put uh, one small log on each corner, and I noticed the ground was a little unlevel, so I figured the easiest way to raise it up instead of looking for bigger logs would be to double them up and stack them. As you can see here, I've got two on the bottom, and two going across here. And then I'll put uh, probably two more. And that way I can uh, adjust it to whatever height I need to get it level. Because this back corner here is a lot higher than this corner. And it really didn't look it when I started. I kicked the leaves out and it didn't look that way. But uh, it is. So that's the way I'm going to do it. And uh, as soon as I get some more progress, I'll check in with you and show you what I got Thanks. okay little update here as I told you earlier I've been working on my raised bed first I've uh, got uh, the base supports up and I've got everything pre-cut so I'm gonna give you a look at that right now so bear with me here a second all right here's the uh, bases that I was telling you about and I don't have the support across here yet it's a uh, pre-cut you can see i've got the one in the back already yeah shadow's been helping me um so i'm gonna set this one right now and get all my other pre-cut stuff lengthways and then uh, i'll show you a little video of it and then I'll, I'll give you a clip of it when it's done Okay, there it is. Um, kind of lumpy, but I guess it'll do all right. I'll use an air mattress on it. Um, protect my uh, sleeping bag and my back. So uh, I'm gonna lash these top members together, probably with bank line. I still have to put some stakes down here on the bases to keep them from rolling around. Um, I got stakes on the ends to keep the support logs from from shifting when I've got weight on it. I'll probably tie them together with some bank line too somehow. Um, sure turned out to be a nice day. So anyway, this is it. See how we look here. Oh, oh yeah. Ah, nap time already. It's been stable. Oh, shadow. You need to take a nap too, bud. Huh? Okay, okay, I love you too. Okay, okay, I love you too. Yeah, him good boy. Come on, get up here. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. I'll uh, get started on my next raised bed. And uh, I don't know if I'll put any clips in there or that or not. You've seen how I did this one. The other one would just be a little smaller. I might wait till I start to lean two part. I don't know. Depends on if anything exciting happens or not. So stay tuned. More to come. <laughs>